Hello and welcome to the Your CAD Capture series. This video demonstrates how to search for parts and nets in the Your CAD Capture project. We have a schematic design opened in Your CAD Capture, and to search for items in this schematic, use the right mouse button pop-up menu and select the Find command, or press Ctrl F shortcut and that is how you would access the Find window. The Find window is used to search our schematic. Let's take a closer look at this find window. Notice it has a find what field with a wild card in it. And below, there is a list of object types. This is like an object type filter, and you can use the find in switch here to turn everybody off and then turn on the object type you're searching for. So what we currently have right now is a wild card in the find what field and parts selected in our object type filter. Let's go ahead and click the find button. So once you click the Find button, the Find Results window is displayed here down along the bottom, and it currently contains an Object Type tab here for the parts that we have selected. And you see two capacitors and a header connector have been found. Double-click on these entries. We can visit these found parts on the schematic page. Notice that the scope of the search was limited to the active schematic page. In other words, there were just three parts found, and the two parts on page 2 are not listed. Let's rerun the search now with page 2 selected. Notice the Find Results window shows just the two parts on page 2, and the parts on page 1 are not listed. By default, when you execute a search, the search is limited to the active page. To search in the entire design, click in the Project Manager window, click on the design file, and perform our search. Notice that all the parts are listed in the Find Results window. You can select multiple object types in the Find What window, for example, Parts and Nets. And when you click on the Find button, notice the Find Results window has both a Parts and a Nets tab, one tab for each object type that we had selected here. All the parts are displayed, and then all of the signals in the design are listed here in the Nets tab and they can all be visited by double-clicking to see any of the listed nets. For example, if you are looking for a specific part in my design, make sure the entire design is being searched. Turn off the nets, and type in the reference designator. Click on Find. And there it is in the Find Results. If you double-click, you'll go right to it, and it is on page 1 and is currently selected. You could interact with it now and change its properties. You can do the same thing for a net in the design. Go ahead and make sure the focus is on the entire design, and we'll switch the object type filter from parts to nets, type in the clock net, click the find, and we see two entries in the find results window, double click on each one of these to locate it in the design. And another way you can perform a similar kind of signal navigation is to right-click on the signal you want to navigate and use the signals command. It will perform a search for you similar to what we did on the clock signal. This is like a find results window here. This is the navigation window. This is another way to search for a signal in the design. You don't have to type it in here if you're looking at it already. You can right-click on it and use the Signals command to search and navigate that net in the design. The search tool can be handy for checking your off-page connectors and your title blocks. Here we have a tab for all our off-page connectors. We can visit each one in the design and our title block symbols. You can also search for all power ground symbols in the design. Turn on the power ground object type. Click Find. Now we can navigate to all of our voltage symbols. And here's an example of how you can use the find options. We're going to go ahead and look for parts that have a property, and the property name is value is equal to 0.1 microfarads. Click find. Once we've clicked the find button, our find results shows two capacitors in the design that match our search parameters. That's all the time we have now for this video. Thanks for watching.